Hey guys, Rivalhawk here. After I released my Mastering Quick Peaks video, a lot of you guys asked me to demonstrate how I use grenades. At first, I didn't think that there was too much to show you guys, but after thinking about it and going over some of my gameplay, I realized that I use grenades in a ton of different ways and for various purposes, so I'm going to try and show you those ways in this video. There are three different ways to throw a grenade. There is the high arc grenade, uh, which is basically just jumping and throwing high in the air to get over an obstacle, get guys up there on the perch. There is the line drive grenade. Really nothing too special there. And then you can bounce grenades, uh, which you can use the line drive approach like this. There are enemies on the other side of this wall that you want to clear out. Or you can high arc the bounces. get guys up there so uh, like I said there are three different ways to throw it but there are there are many different uh, situations in which you can use these and I'll show you those ways right now all right I have Osa Toaster here with me to help demonstrate he answered one of my questions correctly on X Factor's live stream so I gave him a chance to be in one of my videos if I know where an enemy is, but he's behind some kind of cover, um, such as uh, this electrical box here on canals, I'll throw a grenade to one side of the container, hoping that he will either sit there and die for my grenade or jump out of cover into my line of fire. And here are a few clips showing that. Here I spawn in, I notice one of my teammates died, decided to throw a nade. I'm not exactly sure where the enemy's at. He flinches slightly. So I, I shot him before the nade even blew him up. He decided to just lay there. So let's move on to the next example. As most of you should know by now, you can use grenades to check and uh, see if an enemy is near. You can hear the enemy's voices uh, if you throw the grenade close enough. Say I'm not exactly sure where Ossetoaster is on the flag, but he just killed an enemy and uh, I realize he's in one of the bushes, just not sure. So we can hear him yelling, uh, either I'd shoot him dead or the nade's going to blow him up. Uh, and that's just one example of listening to the enemy after you throw a nade. I also use grenades for the smoke that it creates. I know a lot of people don't necessarily think about it or use it. The smoke can really screw with the enemy if they're trying to peek you and you may be able to gain an advantage while peeking them uh, as you spot them after you throw a grenade. So after you throw it, if it blows up, it creates a lot of smoke and you can spot through it at enemies.
I also use grenades to destroy enemy equipment like uh, Mavs, Tugs, or spawn beacons or anything of that sort. Uh, just because I don't want to spend the time to sit there and try and shoot it, uh, leaving me vulnerable to enemies. So uh, right here I decided to take it out with a nade and then carry on uh, and clear the rest of the building. As you all know, you can throw a grenade at a Humvee or Vodnik to destroy um, the people, to kill the people inside, or open up the doors to kill them. So there's another purpose for a grenade. If I run across someone that's bipodded up, I will quick peek, toss a nade, not necessarily to uh, kill them with a grenade, but to cause them to stop firing, or cause them to get up and run for cover so I can shoot them. And right here is some footage from my quick peek video. Uh, I throw a nade to the left, not necessarily to kill the guy, but to close off that lane for a brief second uh, so I know it's safe to peek the guy down an archway before I can move up to a better position to take out the guy in tiles. Right here I s notice a guy down at the end of the hallway. I decide to get a better angle for this nade. I use the high arc nade um, so that it drops nicely. Uh, he tries to shoot at me and he ends up dying. And here are a bunch of different clips showing how I use grenades. We give him our tank. Be on the lookout. He spotted a hostile soldier. Over. Yeah, here's your med kit. Okay, just remember guys, everything is situational and depends on where you are compared to the enemy and how you throw it. It's all about feel. Uh, just keep in mind a few of the things that I showed you in this video. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe, comment below, and I'll try and take any questions. Uh, let me know which one you find most helpful or, or useful. And um, I'd like to thank uh, Osa Toaster for all his help. Please check out my previous tips and tricks videos here. And uh, like I said, like, subscribe, comment below.